Either one of them or you've been brainwashed, believe me. Right, can we report this crime Excuse to this policeman here? This yeah, policeman. Can, can we report a crime, please? These officer. criminals here, please. These criminals are attempting Constable. to trespass on our land. And can you please Public explain path. that the evidence is not admissible if it's not signed? This is not signed, nothing's been signed, it's inadmissible. And you will be trespassing if you come on this property. Oi, I'm on a public path. You tried pushing your way in the gate. Excuse me, can I just say, yeah, try pushing me out of the way. You haven't even told me. Yeah, who are you? Can you please provide some evidence? No, this is not enough. Provide the evidence. Right, so it's David Start, isn't it? Provide the evidence. I want to go back to work after that episode. That's why you said. David. Scott. David, I need to call now. Is it David? I'm sorry, I'm not giving you a phone. Right, okay, well, you're not coming. Honestly, the the now, yeah. if you're okay. in the court, then just say Mr. Well, they might do, because you know why? They know that you're personally liable, and they're not going to give the names out. Just leave two people talking, yeah? No, we are out again. We left Brend in and not the phone. <laughs> Welcome, don't need to lie. No, 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 no. Can I have a look, please? Can I have a look, you have to prove who, who you are. are. So we don't need to let you take a phone. Right, okay. Right. Yeah, we are allowed, actually. What your business card says. I'm not refusing. I'm not allowed to let anybody take a phone. Have you got the E96 form? 2006 is false representation. That's just, you know, that's just a confirmation from them. You're here unlawfully. No, it's from the bank. We're not going to attend. You shouldn't no. even be willing to go He's into transferring the conversation. Yeah. You need to read your facts. Really exactly. you know, honestly, mate, Dave, End of story. they're setting you up, mate. You need to read it's your stuff. You, you need to learn. It's what you're there talking for everyone about. to learn. We can learn it. You can do it. Everyone meditating on this. So I'll just sit down and chill for a bit. Are you leaving? Do any of you guys like a coffee? Or a hug? Glass of orange. How about some understanding? Don't wind them up. But standing under it. Oh, yes, that's what the gentleman just said. Let me get a camera and get out. Let's get that. Everybody, group hug! Group hug! Come on, let's strengthen up with the Come on, everybody! Big hug! Come on! Big hug! Come on! 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 Wherever you want to be dancing in the middle, come on. Come on, in. Come on. He walks away again. Have another time. We're wasting again. We're wasting. Let's wait. Big man's in. We're getting in the hole. Feel the love. Feel the love. Come on. Everybody in. Come on, let's go. Come on, little girl. Come on. 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 Probably recognises the number. Yeah. That's ring, is it? Well, they'll have your number saved now. They're not coming for two. No, as well. Can you speak to them, sure, for? Call ended. Well, I didn't touch anything. This is Dave and Mel trying to ring the bailiff. Take three. Oh, oh it's a moment. His phone is switched, switched off. off. His so, recognise my number and now he switched his phone off. Send a text. Public servant. With Mel and Dave. Can you just tell us exactly what's gone on today? Yeah, it's. Um, it's, it's a follow-up from, from what happened last week. Um, last week we only had two bailiffs come. Today they decided to bring a police constable with them as, as enforcement for their action. 
Um, obviously, we're having, we were having none of this because we know what we would all be called game plan. Um, the policeman himself stood in the background, didn't really want to get involved, deliberately stayed out of harm's way, as, as it were. Not, not harm's way, that's the wrong word. Um, so that we could bring him into to the event. Um, the bailiffs presented themselves and wanted to boisterously uh, insist that they had a court order uh, and they had the legal right to take possession of this property. Um, basically, we asked him to produce the court order. We wanted to see the paperwork. Which is after he tried pushing me out of the way. Which is after he tried physically. to physically try and push, push me away. Um, at that point, we recognised the fact that the documentation has not got the signature on it, which means that the bailiff. Which documents that, just for the benefit of the viewers? AX96. Well, there's, there's no. There's and the warrant. And the warrant. Yes. Both documents have not got a signature on which means the document is illegal, cannot be relied upon as fact because it's not undersigned in red ink. Um, therefore, the presentments of that document in that situation is, is actually a transgression of the Fraud Act of 2006 because it's presenting a document to gain an entry which is not signed and is not legal. Um, at which point I attempted to summon the policeman and loud to proclaim there was a, a, a crime in progress um, with the perpetrators at the scene and uh, at that point when the policeman was he couldn't deny the fact that I tried to gain his attention he called the two gentlemen away and he walked off well first of all I actually said to the police officer um, if a witness statement was given to the court and it wasn't signed with a wet ink signature would it be admissible obviously we know the answer is no mm -hmm. um, and then on that note he then asked the bailiffs to um, walk off privately so they could have a chat, which they did, and um, they've not come back. So, not come back. should we be reporting the constable for not reporting, dealing with a crime that was reported to him? Well, we should, yes, but it, it's, it, and we can, and we can file that documentation and make that claim, and we can actually enter that as a criminal action, because he's failed in his duty of care as a police constable, mm -hmm. he's refused to acknowledge the criminal activity at hand, mm -hmm. and he's walked away. And Came to, on his own. To do that, no, whether he's on his own or not, to do that, he while he's on duty, road, while he's on pay, he's taking pay under false pretenses, and that is in itself another act of fraud. Yeah, but themselves, they go in twos, so they can back each other up. Yeah. So he, he didn't have that leg to stand on, he didn't have his hat on. Which, I, re uh, I really don't care about whether he's got his hat on. He can't not. arrest you or do anything there. if he's not got his hat on. He was there in the position of police constable. Right. He should have been yeah. there to assist us. But any police officer to not do anything unless they're in full uniform, which is the hat. That's the point I'm making, the hat. This is a valid point. Yeah. So then, um, what, three hours later maybe? Is it three hours later? Three hours, yeah, three hours later. Past three. We've decided to um, give them a call like we did last week. Uh, obviously off my dad's phone. They've got my dad's number, obviously, Mr. Mr. Scott the bailiff's got my dad's number, so he didn't answer the, the phone. We then attempted to call him off my phone. Obviously he's not stupid, he's going to know that it was us straight away. He hung up the phone and then we called back and he's actually turned his phone off. That's some power switch. So we've sent a text as well, because that's what the voicemail tells you to do. Yep, so it looks like we've got the power back, if you ask me. Absolutely. Indeed. They've got no flipping rights upon doing what they're doing it in its all criminal activity. And the mortgage we, we is stop. fraud, the their actions are fraud, the yes. paperwork's fraudulent, everything they're doing is fraudulent, everything they're doing is criminal, and the, 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 get, the game's over, the time's up. And, um, for the benefit of the... 2-0. Uh, for the, the benefit of the uh, YouTube viewers who may be going through this themselves, yeah. what can they do if they're in a similar boat? I always consult the paperwork. You will have a person being bombastic or being insistent and telling you things verbally. Verbal is, is a, a voice on the wind, it's nothing. Um, unless you're under oath, unless you're under, under, you've taken an oath, there and then on the spot, that everything you say um, will be the truth. Anything other than that is, is just whispers on the wind. What you want to see is the paperwork. Look at the paperwork, look for the wet ink signature, it will not be there. And as soon as there's no wetting signature on that documentation, that documentation 
cannot be relied upon as being truthful. It's a piece of paper with marks on it and nothing more. And the truth of the matter is the judge doesn't actually have authority um, to sign the warrant and if he does he actually is committed, committing a fraudulent act and he can go to jail. So the truth is the judge isn't going to sign the warrant and without a signed warrant they can't access the property. You need to learn your rights and understand the laws and rules. You can also contact us all on Facebook because we are going to be here helping as many people as we can and this group is going to spread all over the country and in fact worldwide. Um, we'll post links under the YouTube video for you to be able to contact us. We'll be um, putting all of the incidents together and lots more information and interviews and things ready for the documentary. Um, it's possibly going to be around three. The Masons like to knock three times. Um, bring it on. Bring it on. Peace and love, okay. that do, yeah? Well, what do you think their next step will be? Um, they're either going to completely cease and desist, which is what I've asked them to do. Oh, incidentally, um, this morning, again, as they did last week, last Wednesday. Last Wednesday we had um, two phone calls from the bank and two phone calls from the solicitors on the morning of the so-called eviction. And they completely ignored the phone. Um, it's happened again today. The, banks, the bank and the solicitors have called us again today. So this morning I thought, well, I'll just see what they've got to say. Now, we have been informed by um, several freemen because basically it is fraudulent. The mortgage is fraudulent. All mortgages are fraudulent. It's that simple. Um, so we've basically been informed by several freemen to call them up and offer them a pound a month and they'll accept it because they don't want this getting out. They don't want the public to know what they're doing. We're not willing to do that. We don't want to pay a pound a, a, pound a month. Well, my, sorry, my dad doesn't want to do that. He doesn't want to pay a pound a month for the mortgage because that's consenting to contract. We're not consenting to a fraudulent contract. We are no longer willing to participate in a criminal corrupt system. We are standing up and we are saying no. We're not paying you anything. Your contract's void. Prove otherwise. And until you have, nobody's going anywhere and nobody's allowed on my dad's property. So this morning when the solicitor called me, um, it, we ignored it. I decided to call him back. It wasn't a solicitor, it was just an assistant. So we called him back um, and he said, what do you want? I said, well, actually, no, you rang us. What do you want? He said, oh, well, we're just ringing to see if there's any way around this eviction today. I said, oh, yes, there is. I can assure you the eviction will not be going ahead today. And may I remind you once again that I've submitted quite a substan uh, um, substantial legal case against Dryden Fairfax solicitors and the Bank of Scotland and I have alleged a very serious case of fraud. Now, can you please inform your senior partner of the solicitors to rebut the UCC filings and to rebut my allegation of fraud um, and until you do so, Anybody that comes on my dad's property, anybody that rings or anybody that writes letters will be being invoiced personally because you've no longer got a corporate safety net of protection. And I will be enforcing these debts with a debt collector to come and knock on your personal properties to enforce a debt. And in the event that you do not pay them, I will be attaching a commercial lien on your property. Thank you. Goodbye. That's what's Fantastic, That's the one you're selling. Absolutely. Again, very, very, very strong point as well. When this new financial system comes, and it's coming probably out within the next week or two, be very, very, very cautious and very, very careful before you sign anything new in relation to any new bank accounts. Um, strongly advise you get in touch and start circulating within the right groups and find out what's really going on before you put your signature to anything because it could, it could, um, you could lose many of your rights, many of your entitlements. It's all orchestrated, it's all planned, everything they do is orchestrated and planned, it always has been. Um, it really is time to wake up from the bubble people and open your eyes, turn off your TVs, have a look into what's really going on in the world, throw all your bullshit newspapers in the bin, get on the internet and start researching some truths because you really are living in a bubble and if you don't wake up and we don't unite, God knows what's going to happen. Luckily there's many of us that are awake and we are ready to stand up to this system and say we're not going to take it anymore. Please come and join, join us, jump on board.